Hey peoples, welcome back to the Adventures of Waffles. This is episode 10. We're in double digits, baby. So, uh, I have decided to cheat a little in this glorious playthrough of ours. No, not like actually cheat, but basically, I want an upgrade. I want the Frostner. I know, I know. I feel like we pretty much just got our glorious iron mace, the Waffle Iron. But Bone Mass is looming, and I want a weapon that's truly fit for Thor himself. And Frostner would be such an effective weapon against pretty much anything in the swamps. Frost damage is especially effective against Bone Mass, and Spirit damage is effective against Draugr. So yeah, today I'm going on an adventure to find some silver. And yes, the plan is to replace the Waffle Iron. Sadly, it's a bit early, but it has to happen. But of course, the Waffle Iron still has to defend me in the mountains, and as you saw right there, it still has no trace. Trouble. It's still a very effective weapon, and it really doesn't need to be replaced, but it would be nice to have something that's especially effective against bone mass. So we're in the mountains, and we're using the little exploit, the little cheaty tactic to find some silver veins. And basically, you slam the sledge into the ground and wait until it says too hard. But we've still got to defend our own lives. This sledge can handle this just fine. I love the giant explosions it makes. It pushes all these wolves back, and I take out the waffle iron and finish the job. It's a great combo. And I'm thinking of calling the Iron Sledge the Waffle Smasher because our sledge needs kind of a name, but we shouldn't probably name all of our weapons. <laughs> but yeah, I think this weapon is definitely deserving of a good name. It'll last us a very long time. So I'm making it official. It is the Waffle Smasher and it now is a nameable weapon. <laughs> it's, it, it's canon. It's official. Yeah, the Waffle Iron and the Waffle Smasher because, I mean, if we get the Frostner, I'm not going to name that thing the Waffle Smasher. And when we get the Porcupine, I can't name that thing the Waffle Smasher. This, this giant hammer of ours, it should be the Waffle Smasher. It deserves that title. So it's official. And I'm spending way too much time on this. <laughs> yeah, uh, the first mountain was way too small for me to actually find any silver, but I remembered there's this other one close to our original uh, spawn island, in, on our original spawn island, and so I'm exploring this one as well. I figured it was worth exploring because I hadn't been out there yet. I have the potions. I might as well check it out. I, I didn't know whether or not silver would actually spawn on these smaller uh, mountains, but I, I don't think they will. They just, they simply do not. Not. I didn't find a single thing, and so I, I just didn't really spend too much time out there. So I took the boat, and I went to a much larger mountain that I had found previously. And I think maybe the boat deserves a name too, this, this beautiful thing. But uh, we're not taking the big boat. I want to take the small boat because once you get the big boat, the small boat doesn't get enough love. And I just love the look of this thing. And I'm really not expecting to get that much silver. All I need is a couple stacks and that will take care of Frostner. Maybe upgrade it once. So, little boat. It's more maneuverable, kind of, maybe a little bit. It's more fun. I love the look of the little boat. The carve is just a beautiful boat. So, it deserves some love, even though we've upgraded to the bigger boat. And that's just simply a fact. In real life, I don't actually have a significant amount of sentiment to inanimate objects, but apparently I do in video games. I give my weapons names, I love the boats, I don't know, it's weird, but we made it to our new island right here, and this is where I discovered that big, giant mountain uh, from across the pond, I guess. Um, yeah, we're here, we need to establish a beachhead, get our portal up, and of course I did pre-name, well, I mean, let's figure this out, let's see what's going on here. Uh, not working, unconnected, but we're interrupted. We've got two gray dwarves over here and they don't want me here. I am not welcome, but you know what? I'm going to establish my presence anyway. It's fine. What's going on here? Mountain one. So I'm glad I have a backup. I don't know what was going on there, but the backup does connect. I always make a backup portal because that's kind of necessary. So I go home, I do a sleep and we're back in it. After, of course, I try to figure out what was going on. Oh yeah, I had set it to Haldor. I forgot to set it to Mountain One. That's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. But this is a giant mountain, and I, I just, it's, it's so difficult to navigate the terrain. I like to call it basically doing a mountain goat. We are officially mountain goat status right now. And since we're going into the, the mountains, we need to pop a potion. That's definitely necessary, but I'm, I'm trying to avoid enemies, not trying to kill everything. This wolf though, it just sadly needs to go because it's trying to kill me and it doesn't want me on the mountain. But the waffle iron is still a very effective weapon. And even though it probably knows that I'm trying to replace it, it's still defending my life with honor and humble grace. 
Well, we're jumping to the top of this mountain as awkwardly as we possibly can because we're mountain goats and because we need to get to a clearing section so we can actually find some potential silver veins. But these drakes over here, they see me and so the fight is on. I've got fire arrows equipped and let, let's do this. Let's, let's handle this. We haven't really fought any enemies at all yet that are skybound and we need to take out with a bow. So, I mean, I have some bow experience, but not that much, but we're still doing good work. These guys are not that bad. I'm able to pretty much just move laterally and avoid most of their attacks. And yeah, it's uh, pretty easy, pretty easy. And honestly, I thought these guys would hit harder. I thought they would be more difficult, but it wasn't that bad. But this one decided to die all the way down there. Come on, at least if you're going to fight me, give me your resources when you die. But I mean, it's, right, it's not that far away, but the other one was definitely unattainable. So we already got a Drake trophy, by the way. That's pretty cool. Be handy later. We're popping over this ridge right here and I see just a little structure and I see the peak of a location for motor, which I mean, we're, we're a little bit ahead of ourselves here, but we might as well jump in here and see what we can find. Yeah, that's just stone. Uh, this box, it just it has some good stuff. Uh, inventory is full, but the location of motor motor is right next to us. So I, I portal home real quick and I get rid of some stuff and I check to see if there's anything up here, but we're already back and we're already moving. We're doing some things. This is kind of a flat area, so maybe I can find some silver right here. So I do some slammy slams, but a drake interrupts me as they always do. And yeah, it's a repeat. It's on fire. <laughs> nothing, nothing really fancy to see here except for this one isn't going to die in a horrible, horrible fashion, falling all the way down the mountain, making me go and retrieve it. This is this is flat area, and I think fire arrows are unnecessary for these guys. I don't know why that was a recommendation, but regular arrows are perfectly fine, and I have iron. I found a lot of them in the swamps. But right there, we found the location. We are at the location of Motor. Uh, that'll be a future video. We're not tackling that just yet. We may be skipping ahead a little bit to get the Frostner, but we're not going to skip ahead all that way. We're not going to skip bosses in this playthrough, but nice little flat area right here. Nice little flat section. These have to have silver, right? Come on. These have to. And I spot a little house over here, by the way. It looks pretty nice. I like the design of these automatically generated houses. Pretty, pretty nice little cabin. Maybe I could set up a little house right here because it was occupied and we have to take it over. <laughs> a couple more bits right here and we found some onion seeds. We're, we're skipping a little bit far ahead, but hey, it's good enough. We're fine. We still need to find turnip seeds in the swamps, but I do go back. I plant those as you saw and I get those going because it, it just makes sense. You might as well get it going while you're doing other stuff. <laughs> uh, as you see, I, I noticed I came back through the portal and and there's no cold damage happening right now. I don't have a frost resistance potion going and I'm just not being damaged. I don't know. It's I'm on the public test beta and there's no damage right now. So that's definitely a little bit of a bug and I'll, I'll have to figure out a way to report that. But yeah, it's I, I do take a potion later anyway, just because it seems the right thing to do. And I don't want to start suddenly just having my health drained and not notice. So I do take a potion later just because it's the right thing to do. <laughs> but those wolves are dead. This Drake is definitely a few future dead uh, thing, dead carcass, and it was nice enough to drop its remains right on top of me. Really, really nice of you. Thank you. But there it is. I wanted to showcase. I do take the potion, even though it technically by the bug wasn't necessary, but it's the right thing to do. And again, it just makes sense. <laughs> Frost cave right here. We're not tackling those just yet, but we can mark it and we can come back. And I didn't really show it all, but I spent quite a bit of time on this mountain, slamming the waffle smasher into the ground, just trying to find some silver veins that would pop out. And of course, we didn't find anything. What a jerk. But I don't want to spend the night out here because uh, really bad things happen at night. So I go home and it's day 69. I just wanted to showcase that. Nothing, nothing special happened there. But now we're back and I'm getting frustrated. I know there is definitely silver here. I don't have the wishbone from bone mass. So I just start digging. There's got to be silver somewhere here. And yeah. I dig and I dig and there was nothing, but we're fighting more wolves. We have the waffle smasher out and it is definitely smashing wolf skulls. And again, I really don't like fighting wolves because they are squirrely, they are fast, but they're, they're dogs and dogs are friends. <laughs> waffle smasher definitely smashes through these skeletons. Even though this is a one star, it stands no chance. And here we go. I finally stumbled on a stone golem. 
I simply can't block it. Even though the banded iron shield is upgraded, it just, it does not have the ability to block a stone golem. So I just noped out of there. Another nice little clearing right here that should definitely have silver in it, but the waffle smasher is not actually showing me the too hard symbol. So yeah, it's, it's not working too well. But these wolves, these wolves attack me and I try to give the at gear some love, but the terrain makes it very difficult for me to actually hit them. So I switch to the waffle iron because this weapon hasn't let me down yet. Well, that did not go well, but we're back. We're eating some food. We're gonna pop a frozen margarita and we're gonna go get our stuff back because that was garbage and we deserve our revenge. The waffle iron, it's not to blame. It's my own ineptitude and it deserves to get its revenge. Oh yeah, much better. So we're back to it. We're back to looking for some silver and I start digging in this area and it definitely should have silver. There's gotta be something around here. So yeah, I'm, I'm just using the pickaxe. I'm just digging around because we've got to find something, right? Well, it turns out there's a silver vein right here. We got lucky, we found it. It was definitely way too deep for the waffle smasher to actually show the whole too hard symbol. So I grab the portal, I bring it over here, and now we can get to work. And when it comes to silver veins, I have no problem digging out the whole thing and then hitting the center to have everything burst. Basically it's because it doesn't take a ridiculous amount of time and it's kind of satisfying and it actually is possible. But with copper veins, I know it's possible. Possible, but I've always struggled getting this last bit out when, when it comes to copper veins and it just takes so long but it doesn't take that long with silver veins and as you can see right here we've accomplished the mission and there's actually another silver vein below this silver vein which is really convenient not that we need it now but here we go that is definitely one of the most satisfying things in Valheim. And we have a massive amount of stone. We have a whole bunch of silver, quite a bit more than I need. But <laughs> I'm greedy. I need it all. We're going to we're going to see if we can find a way to get this all home. And silver is actually very, very heavy. And so, I mean, I, I kind of just slowly take it all the way down to the boat. And man, that took a long time. I'm not gonna show the whole process, but this first little bit right here, you know, I, I see, oh, hey, wait, there's a gray dwarf that doesn't want me to have silver just yet. And yeah, okay, this boar also doesn't want me to be here. Come on, come on. Oh, well. <laughs> It definitely seems like the creatures do not want me to have silver just yet. And we have a brute. This brute is also in the same camp. Yeah, so it's it's a struggle right here. <laughs> definitely, definitely feel like we are we are having a game that's that's pushing back against us. But first load has been accomplished. Unfortunately, the world is not done pushing back. We have a troll attacking us now, and I don't feel rested, but I have an ad gear. And this ad gear is just the the ideal weapon for this and even though I have no stamina and my stamina is regenerating really slowly this isn't too bad I can manage this I can just poke it in the belly a couple times and it'll all be okay <laughs> but yeah you can see stamina is an issue but with just a couple more shots in the groin of course the troll is down and I think I need to make the troll cape I haven't done that yet but I think I definitely should do that but I had an idea I thought maybe I could bring the cart and that would help me take everything down from the top of the mountain. This would definitely be a good idea. I think I need a cart over here. So I pop a cart up, I slowly bring everything up and I, I grab the cart and I start moving. This, this is fine, right? Carts are not that bad but it seems like this is not gonna work. The cart is definitely way too heavy to climb even a half of a knoll right here. I can't even make it over this tiny little hill. How am I gonna make it all the way down the mountain? So it's not gonna happen, but eventually I just, I manually take everything down. It took a long time, multiple days worth of effort, but we did it. And I think maybe I can get a cart to stay on this carve and it just, it, it was quite the struggle. I grab all the stuff, all the extra silver, and it's not in the position that it needs to be to actually pop the silver in there. But maybe I can jump in there and actually right the cart, put it in a good position. I don't know, I've never done this before. This is definitely a, a very precarious situation. Okay, definitely, definitely not gonna happen like that. So I destroy the cart, I grab all the resources, and I try again. I try to get this thing in a better position, and let's just, well, all right, 
This is promising. This isn't bad. I think maybe we can make this work. We gotta tip it over just a little bit. We gotta come on, just 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 a little push. Just a little just a little push. Yeah, okay. Well, uh okay, alright, not ideal. <laughs> I guess I didn't save that clip, but basically the cart did fall out of the boat again. But we're back home now. We're just gonna bring the big boat. I'm greedy, I want all that silver, so I destroy the big boat and I pop it down at our new spot. Clearly, I should have just brought the big boat from the beginning, but I transferred everything over. I destroy the little boat. I'm sorry, but we have to do that. We we're gonna bring the resources home, and now we're moving home. We're, we're taking the boat, and we're going all the way home. We're doing the thing. We're transferring the silver, and it's gonna be glorious. But this troll right here <laughs> is just on the side of the, the shore right here, and it just seems kind of depressed. It seems like it's contemplating its own life. Like, I'm, I wish I could help you, bud, but I can't. <laughs> we're pretty much back home now, and we're making our way between these two little islands right here. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess I kind of remember seeing this rock right here. <laughs> I, I probably should come back to this little spot and remove this, this little rock, because I kind of like taking the boat around this island to my right and coming to the dock like this way. But it's not working too well. I'm pretty much stuck right here. I'm backing up and trying to dislodge myself, and it gets dark really quickly right there, by the way. Uh, sorry for that. We have a grayling swimming below us. <laughs> Eventually, I do make my way around that rock and we make it home. But yeah, it's it was quite the little rock right there. Not not the greatest obstacle, but we're back. We made it. We're going to slowly bring all the stuff from the boat. We're going to start smelting and look at all this glorious silver. And I try to get out of the inventory right here, and there's a little bug, I think, with the public test beta, where if you push the wrong buttons, I think escape while you're trying to get out of the uh, in-game menus, it kind of freezes. But it's okay. We're moving on. We're doing the things. We have some silver. Look at that. All this glorious stuff is now unlocked a little bit earlier than we should have, but it's okay. We're allowed to do whatever we want. We're adults in this Valheim world. <laughs> we can make our own decisions, and we're not completely cheating. We're just we're getting just a little bit ahead of ourselves to make Frosty part of the family just a little bit early. And I think that's okay. But we did a sleep so that all of our glorious silver could smelt overnight, and now just look at all this glorious stuff. We definitely grabbed a whole lot more silver than we need, but it's okay. And I think you know what we have to do. We're grabbing all the silver that we can possibly carry, and we're gonna slowly make our way to the box. Can he make it? Can he do it? Will he have enough stamina to get all the way to the box? And, uh, yeah, of course. Of course he does make it. I mean, yeah, we had a lot of stamina. And now we're going back to Haldor because we need some more Emir flesh. And I just, I sell what we had, I buy some Emir flesh, and this should do it just fine. We're good. Yep, nice to see you again. Much appreciated for your services. But I go back to the workbench, I look at the ingredients, and it takes five Emir flesh. I have four. So we're going back to Haldor. Sorry, I know. I, I don't mean to bug you, but we need one more Emir flesh. <laughs> but now we definitely have what we need. So I slowly grab all the stuff. 10 ancient bark, five freeze glands, and 30 silver. With, of course, the five Emir flesh. It's time to do the thing. And there it is. We have the Frostner. We have our new glorious weapon. But of course, that means the Waffle Iron has to be retired. But as we do it, we have to give it a place of honor above the fireplace. Thank you for your service, Waffle Iron. You've been a great friend. But let's take a look at our glorious new weapon, the Frostner. And I haven't decided on a name yet, but it definitely deserves a glorious name. The Frostner is such a cool weapon, and I just, I love this thing. I think it needs a little more detail in the design. Kind of like the Iron Sledge, how it has like leather straps around the outside. I like that. But it's still definitely an awesome and worthy weapon, and we're going to upgrade it to level 3. Uh, yeah, I think that may be a little high, but we're okay. We have the materials. It's fine. I don't exactly like dying. And that's okay. We're allowed to do what we want. But the onions are ready to harvest, so I do that, and it didn't actually unlock anything because, I mean, I, we only have a level 1 cauldron, but now we have a level 5 workbench, and I think that looks pretty great there. And now we're definitely ready to go clear our way toward bone mass. So let's do this. Hey. Wait, what? Uh. Hmm. That was weird. Whatever. Let's go. Mm-hmm. 
home. Thank you so much for watching and for continuing to love this series with me. If you have any suggestions for names for our new glorious weapon, the Frostner, let me know. I thought maybe Ego because, you know, it's a frozen waffle. <laughs> I'm not sure. If you have any good suggestions, leave them in the comments. Like the video, subscribe if you feel like it, join the Discord if you want, and check out my Twitch if you like. I'm occasionally on there, but no official schedule. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.